Good evening. How are you all doing today on this Sunday evening? I stopped by to give you a word about restoration. And tonight's scripture is going to come from the book of Job, chapter 42, verse 10. I'm going to read it in the King James Version. And then I'm going to read it in the Amplified Version. And a lot of you know the story, how God restored Job's fortune. Job went through a lot. And he lost a lot. But in the end, God restored his God restored his fortune. God restored everything from, you know, his family to everything that he lost. But through that, as Job went through and everything he encountered, he still found time to pray for his friends. And then after that, that's when God moved. So sometimes, and I'm not going to say sometimes, when we are going through things, even those who are dear to us as they are going through. There are times we have to take the focus off of us and we have to pray for other people too. You know, it's kind of like even though we bear one another's burden, sometimes it's like we have to go in and pray for them no matter what they say, no matter what they do, no matter how they look at you, no matter what. You still go in and pray for them. So let me read Job um, 42 verse 10. And the King James Version says, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much he had before. Twice as much as he had before. That's the King James Version. So when we read in the Amplified Version, it says, The Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he prayed for his friends and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Twice as much as he had before. All because of what? He prayed for his friends. He didn't just get so wrapped up in himself or why he was going through that he just put his focus on him. He put his focus elsewhere and he prayed for his friends in spite of what they had to say about him. You know, because they were like, well, Joe, if you're such an upright man, like, why did this happen to you? You know, just different things that his friends said. But when you are going through, even as you are praying for yourself, find time to pray for other people who are going through, whether they're your friends, whether they're your families. And I'm going to give you one even deeper, your enemies. Because, you know, even though your enemies get out here and they try to cause havoc and do things to upset you or persecute you or frustrate you or annoy you they're still going through some things because you know you heard of the song that excuse me the saying misery loves company and even as your your enemies are going through they don't want you to be happy they're not happy for you and they don't want you to be happy so their thing is to try to cause discord and distract you to keep you from walking in the promises of god to keep you from believing what god is going to do for you so in that, pray for your enemies. And the word of God tells us it'll also be like heaping coals on their head. <laughs> but what we're going to do when we're going through, and you know you have a friend that's going through, pray for them. No matter how they look at you, no matter what they have said about you, no matter what they say as you're going through, you know, even look at your old wife. What did she say? Why don't you curse God and die? <laughs> Job said, you sound like a foolish woman. You know, you may have some friends that when you're going through and they're looking at, they're like, hey, you still going to trust God no matter what you're going through? Girl, I don't know why, um, I don't know, I don't know why, um, you go to church all the time, you're serving God, you're tithing, you do this, you do that, and you're still going through this? I don't know, mm. What did you do? What type of sin did you commit? What you know? What are you doing in secret? It can be. It is like that at times, you know. But hey, through it all, I just stopped by today to encourage you, to let you know that as you pray for your friends, as you pray for other people while you are going through, God is going to do you just like He did Job. He's going to restore you and give you back double, twice as much as you had. So whatever you lost, God is going to give it back to you double, twice as much as what you lost. Just be encouraged tonight, but go to sleep knowing 
that God is going to do it for you. That brings me to, I know I said I was finished, but that brings me to another a message that I heard that the Holy Spirit brought back to remembrance to me today. It was a, a message from um, Bishop Dale Bronner, I want to say probably about two weeks ago. But in that message, he talked about yet. You may be going through or you, you might have gotten a bad health report and your health hasn't isn't the way that you want to see it yet. You haven't got that business yet. You haven't started that business yet. You don't have the clients that you need for that business yet. You don't have the finances you need yet, but God promises to us our yes and amen. So you walk through and you just keep thinking, thanking God for it because God is going to do it. And remember, whatever you're standing in the need of, whatever you're believing God for, it just haven't happened yet. Take that with you tonight and for the rest of the week. It hasn't happened yet. And remember to pray for your friends, to pray for your enemies, pray for others while you're going through. Take, <clears throat> excuse me, take your mind to get your focus off of you and put it on someone else and watch God move in your life. And read Job 42 verse 10. Have a good night.